guys. Um, I thought I'd just do a bit of a vlog today, bring back um, a little bit of what's going on with the past where I was doing the daily arm wrestle, that sort of stuff. Give you guys a bit of insight into how I'm going about planning everything that's going on with the content creation. Um, at the moment, I'm considering going to the US this, this month being January. So it's something that I need to put together real soon. So I thought I'd go for a bit of a drive um, and maybe give John a call, um, give Todd Hutchins a call and see if we can't work out exactly what's going on. Go yet? Hey, it's John. How are you? Good. What's up, Ray? Hey, uh, I just thought I'd give you a quick call. Um, I'm about to head into the uh, my flight flight center place and just kind of get a quote for um, for travel. I just wanted to double check. If I, if I randomly turn up at your place in Arizona on, um, what is it, uh, maybe like the, would it would midweek work if it was um, between the, the weekend of the 18th and the 26th of January? Uh, yeah, that should be fine. 18th to the 26th, that's coming up soon, but yeah, yeah. that'll work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's real soon. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was just, just thinking, because the, the weekend of the 18th apparently works for Todd, um, so if I fly up to whatever airport's closest to him and then from there come down to you and then I was thinking I could pro because the the UAL has their championship on the um at the the LAX fit e fit expo on the 26th so I might stop in there and then uh head on home so but yeah that would mean oh, kind of okay. like like the 22nd or something like that at your place <coughs> okay yeah sounds good awesome that, that, just, that, yeah, keep me up there just so I don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. How's that cold of yours? It sounds pretty nasty. Uh, yeah, no, it's just it's just my typical. Uh, for some reason, when I get a cold, it ends up going to my chest, and I just I you know hack up a lung for months. So I don't know. I should go to the doctor because the last few times I've had it, I I, I can't seem to get rid of it until yeah, yeah, yeah. I go and get you know, some medicine for it. So, but you know, typical typical stuff. It feels like I got water in my lungs. Yeah. But, yeah, I've been watching YouTube videos since I, you know, got done messaging you and, you know, watched some videos about the, the, the you know, the 1, or 1. 1.4, the 20 millimeter and the 35 and yep. listening to some tips of, um, you know, stuff for beginners, you know, knowing the ISO and the F-stop and the yeah. shutter speed and this and that and the other and, you know, it's, it all makes sense, but it's just, it's just hard to, you know, you know juggled all the different yeah, things. Yeah, it's funny. I, I, I'm, starting to, I'm, starting to get a, I'm starting to get a handle on it. I, I, I don't think any of that stuff really matters for video, does it? It's yeah, I, I, to, be on, to be honest, I still pretty much <laughs> use, I use the most automated function possible. I have it I have it on auto, continuous, ISO, auto, continuous, everything. So <laughs> because, right. yeah, when, when I'm... Right. Well, the the F-stop the seems to be the, the thing as far as the video goes anyway, as yeah. far as the depth of field. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of a cool thing. I mean... And stuff that I've been watching, they, they're pretty much saying the new camera is ISO doesn't really matter anymore. Just let it go yep. auto and let yep. it figure out based on the light. But yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, well, yeah. It should should be good yeah. fun. Other, other than the other than the lens is going to take a small, you know, I might need a heavy neck strap to, to hold on to it. It's, <laughs> it's, I think it's probably two and a half, three pounds. I mean, it's, it's a pretty hefty lens, but nice. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I practiced with the uh, the old one I had that versus this one. This one's like. Whew. Yeah, way, way, way brighter, nicer, clearer. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. But for me, I, I when I when I went along and um and bought my camera equipment, I went into the camera store and said I have zero idea on anything about this, and I didn't even know what a prime lens was. Like I literally, when I got home and put the prime lens on, I'm trying to I'm trying to zoom on it. And I'm like, this lens is broken. I'm yeah. zooming and it's not doing anything. <laughs> There's no zoom, right? Yeah, yeah. Then I'm like, ah, Google prime lens is a bit more. I'm like, okay, that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> But yeah, right. it's it's not. I just yeah, the clarity that you get from lenses like that uh, is just is just awesome. So um, yeah, right. good times. All right, well, I'll yeah, let, I'll let you go. know. I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, it. I think it'll probably probably happen. Like it's it's probably ninety percent likely. I'd say. Okay, and, and you're saying the dates that you'll be here are exactly what dates? Oh, it, it'll be. Um, so I'm, I'm. I would plan on being at Todd's place on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, being the. 18th, 19th, that weekend, 
and then um, so okay. uh, if I spend three days there, I'm, I'm, I might it might, it'll either be Monday, Tuesday, or something like that at your place. Okay, so yeah. I, I would need to get time off because I, you know, I only have Friday, Saturday off. So if it's you know, it's going to be something other than that, then let me know and I'll try to get yep. a day off or two. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Thanks, John. All right. Bye. Talk soon. This is Todd Hutchins. Please leave a message and I'll call you right back. Thank you. Bye. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Toddzilla, how are you, man? Uh, just thought I'd give you a quick buzz. Um, I don't know if you've had the chance to, to hear yet. I, I messaged Ali this morning. Um, I'm planning on randomly coming to the US uh, really soon, in like a week, week's time, um, to help you guys get started with filming some content, and I might double it up with visiting the LAX Fitness Expo, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, um, give us a buzz or we'll just chat but yeah i'm gonna go and and get some quotes on flights and that today and uh hopefully we can make it all happen anyway I mean, we're thinking about like um a week and a half's time so or a week and a bit's time like um literally the weekend of the 18th and that sort of stuff but anyway hope you're well hope you're killing it at work doing what you're doing you're a busy man so appreciate your time but um talk soon mate bye Alrighty, as you can hear there, um, sounds like it all's good with John and um, should be good with Toe because I spoke to Ali earlier this morning, but I guess that means um, it's time to go and get some quotes on flights and see if we can't make this thing happen. <laughs> Oh, I was about to sit in your chair. <laughs> so I just confirmed, so Brisbane to Columbus on the 18th of January, Columbus to Phoenix on the 21st of January, Phoenix to LA on the 25th, and then back to Brisbane on the 27th or 28th. That'd be perfect. Alrighty, so just went and saw my travel agent, and it's going to cost like roughly two and a half to get there and do what I want to do and travel around. So the question is, can I... Can I make two and a half grand's worth of content? Um, maybe. It's about it's about the limit, as I reckon, what I can do in that time. But um, who knows? We'll see what happens, and uh, I'll let you guys know very soon whether I'm going to be in the US in like a week's time. So, good times. Yeah, guys. So anyway, I thought I would invite you in on this. Um, like I said, the vlogging side of things has been. Um, if you're a new subscriber to to my channel. Um, the Ryan Blue Bowen show, whatever it might be, whatever form it's taken now. Um, it all started for me with a daily vlog, which was called The Daily Arm Wrestle, where I did 140 episodes. So this is kind of bringing back a little bit of that, showing you guys behind the scenes as to what I'm actually doing in the business and how I go about um, organizing events and all that sort of stuff. And you'll see that it's a pretty crazy process. It's pretty hectic and um, it's not entirely straightforward I get come up with an idea and I run with it that's pretty much how I go and then I go to places like this KFC and order lunch thank you ma'am thank you so much see ya but yeah the concept of just kind of um, executing on ideas um, that's something that I got from Gary V Gary V you don't know who he is. He's been a big motivator for, of mine. I'm obviously a big motivator for a lot of people, but he has kind of instilled that in me where it's just about, it's never letting the need for perfection get in the way of ideas and executing and um, just actually moving ahead with ideas, being the best way to refine and um, inviting you guys in on the process. Um, that helps me, to the, helps me refine as well because and it helps you guys to know kind of what's going on, where I'm coming from, why I might seem as crazy as I do when it comes to executing ideas and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, this is the purpose of this vlog. I thought I'd bring it back a little bit. I'm gonna do a heap more um, interesting content. Uh, now that I've kind of got my own show on the channel, on the Pan for Pan Arm Wrestling channel, um, uh, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna get into a whole heap more training, gonna do a lot more casual behind the scenes stuff with a lot of different pullers. I'm gonna be hanging out with Giannis um, tomorrow. Actually, I fly down to Melbourne tomorrow and we'll be hanging out with Giannis Amelins. Um, 
and Ryan the Milkman Scott, so I can't wait to do that. Staying at Andrew Lee's home, and um, yeah, there's gonna be heaps more to come, but all good times, all good times. So guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in today to watch this. Hopefully, um, I gotta go home now and do the math on whether I think uh, the business can afford this trip. Um, two and a half thousand dollars, that's Australian, two and a half thousand dollars Australian to make this trip. Uh, so we'll see if I can pull it off. But anyway, hopefully it comes together because I'd love to see you guys in the US real soon. And um, no doubt it'll be an amazing trip if I do. All right, guys, see ya.